Okay, so today we're taking a look at the Vortex HD 5000 10x42 Fury Binos with Applied Ballistics. So today we're chambered in 6mm Creedmoor. We're running the 108 Hornady ELDM projectile at approximately 2,992 feet per second. Okay, so let's take a look at the trajectory validation. So the app actually tells you what distances it wants to validate. Now this is hard when you don't have the ability to get out to these distances, but luckily today we do. The ballistic app actually asks us to work at a distance of 1,360 meters or further. It also wants a second trajectory of approximately 940 to 1,020 meters. 1,372 meters, predicted trajectory is 16.8. Okay, we're going to put in 16.8 and see how we go. Nine hundred and thirty-six meters. Expected elevation of seven point eight. Now I'm expecting that to be slightly low, but we're going to try and get a hit on that target to validate, and that will give us the two targets we need to calibrate our app. I'm going to go straight to eight mils, as I'm expecting to be slightly low. Okay, perfect. So we've validated our trajectory at both 1,372 metres and 938 metres. I needed 17.2 at the 1,372 metre target. I needed 8.2 at the 938 metres. Now, because I'm using the magneto speed chronograph, which I trust to be within 10 feet per second of where I'm sitting, I would prefer to be able to use my velocity and true my BC. Though the benefit of the binos is we're actually using the custom drag curve supplied to us by Applied Ballistics. So I found that whenever I'm working with an Applied Ballistics device, whether it's my phone or my binoculars or a Kestrel, the device prefers to true my muzzle velocity as opposed to working with anything other than the custom drag curve. Now we're gonna test it a little bit closer and work our way out to validate our trajectory. 381 meters, 1.8. 542 meters, 3.2. First off, I've been very impressed with the Vortex HD 5000 binos. I've managed to get some solid trajectory and ranges out past 1300 meters. I've been able to push the range finder out to 2.5K. So the HD 5000s have all those bells and whistles. They'll calculate your temperature, your air pressure, and that leads me to one of the negatives I don't like about this device. Now I may be asking too much, but one of the main things I've seen, especially in far northeast Queensland, it is very hot and humid. So it only takes a few moments for these to be sitting in the sun and all of a sudden my true temperature of air temperature that goes from say 30 degrees, I'll be sitting at high 40 degrees. 
Now, temperature is one of the main influences that will affect my trajectory downrange. Now, about the only other negative that I found with the Vortex HD 5000s, it does not calculate your inclination as you shoot up or downhill. So yes, it will give you your measurement in degrees. It will tell you if you're two degrees, 10 degrees or 15 degrees, though it will not true your trajectory for these distances. So if you're someone who's shooting in high alpine country and you have those common shots that will be say 700 meters at 15 degrees, which is, then you're not gonna have your true ballistics. Now I would take this for what it is. Any item that has my ballistics in it that is electric, I will always run a backup. So what I can use when I do come to that rare occasion that I have that inclination to account for is I can turn my binos back to a horizontal calculated distance and I can start to use my actual true validated range data. So that's why I'll always have an arm bar, a data card, something along the lines that has my validated trajectory in play so that I always have a backup. Now I brought these binos as a hunting or field use practical style. So if I'm seeing anything within 2,000 meters, it's doing everything I want it to do. Realistically, I'm only ever gonna use it in a hunting scenario within about 1,000 or 800 meters in, cartridge dependent. But I've been more inclined to test the ballistics on these binos as opposed to the range capability because it's already doing everything I need and more. If you're looking for a piece of kit that will take both your optics, your ballistics, and your range finding and put it all into one unit and you only have a certain ballpark to work with, if this falls in your ballpark, absolutely, it is a great device. It's now become my favorite piece of kit. I've had a lot of questions in regards to the Vortex HD 5000 binos. So I wanted to try and put a video out there so you can see my initial impressions and how I've got on with it so far.